Welcome to my channel. Today's video is sponsored by Cam Duck. I will be unboxing this hidden camera with y'all and showing y'all how it works. They did end up sending me this. They do have more items on their site, y'all. It is a high-end hidden camera. And they also came with a user manual and side letting you know everything about this product. It has getting to know the Wi-Fi camera on how to hook up your Wi-Fi to the camera. It also has how do you insert the SD card and also how do you disable the base. So the back of the camera does come off. It also shows you how to mount it, how to download the app. Literally everything from Android to iPhone, it is up to you, y'all. It also has a QR code as well, which would be more easier for people to access. It also shows shows you how to save the recorded videos and when to turn and how to turn the camera off not only that y'all i definitely keep in mind that the camera lights will go off when it is on so that it is not noticeable that it is recording y'all when i say this item is definitely a 10 out of 10 definitely a 10 out of 10 when i say this smoke alarm looks like the real deal it definitely looks like the real deal if you was at like a hotel or airbnb you nine times out of 10 wouldn't even think that this was a camera or recording you anything of that sort i feel like this is definitely good purposes for a household if you have people in your household more than one person and things are coming up missing or if you just want to see what's going on around your house and everything about cam duck will be in the description box literally everything the exact link to this product as well this product is available on amazon as i mentioned it does come with a user manual and you can charge it up as well it takes type c charging definitely keep that in mind overall definitely it's not a 10 in my book then let's get right into this vlog Yeah, yeah. I mean, where the fuck should I really even start? I got hoes that I'm keeping in the dark. I got my niggas cross the street living large. Thinking back to the fact that they dead, thought my raps were the facts, and they sat with the bars. I got two phones, one need a charge. Yeah, they twins, I can tell they ass apart. I got big packs coming on the way. I got big stacks coming out to save. I got Lil Max with me, he the wave. It's a big gap between us and the game. In the next life, I'm trying to stay paid. When I die, I put my money in the grave. When I die, I put my money in the grave. I really got to put a couple niggas in their place. Really just slap every nigga in a race. I really might tap with this nigga on my face. Lil CC, let us slap. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to my channel. If you are new, welcome. If you are welcome, I am back with another video. And today's video is a vlog. Today is Sunday, February 18th. This is going to be a weekly vlog. First of all, y'all, your girl got a lot going on. I got a wash wigs today, sell wigs tomorrow. My face dry as hell right now. But I got a wash wigs and I got to do my um, full step review because I still haven't done that, literally. Then I gotta go to court on, I believe, Tuesday or Wednesday. Hopefully they throw the ticket out, honestly, truthfully, because I do not want to pay $700 ticket. But that's that. I wasn't going to cook, y'all. I was thinking about doing Sunday dinner, like cooking spaghetti or something. And I might just do that because your girl been spending, okay, overspending on DoorDash. I just spent probably like $150 to $200 on DoorDash within the last four or five days. And that's honestly insane. So I am going to cook tonight because it's been a minute since I cooked. I'm going to make spaghetti. And I don't know what else. Honestly, truthfully. I am going to be watching Baddies, uh, the Baddies reunion. It will come on today. I was going to wait for him to watch it, but he don't get off of work until 11 o'clock. He ended up getting his shift changed to 3 to 11. Well, most of the time, I will most likely be by myself while he at work. Plan is to get a new car, as I was telling y'all. I don't know if y'all be seeing that at the end of this weekly vlog or in my next one, but definitely stay tuned for it. Definitely will be coming soon. I'm finna fire my hair out because your girl looking like who did it and what for. I'm not gonna do no makeup or nothing crazy. Just probably go in my lashes and fill them back in. And I'll leave that y'all. I am selling this wig as well tomorrow. I had this wig off for about two, three days. And I will be selling tomorrow. So I'm really trying to think how do I want to wear my hair when I go to court. Just give y'all a little update on what's been going on. As I've been telling y'all, I've been wanting to vlog more. So I will be trying to post a vlog every other day i'm not gonna say every day every other day the goal is every other day it's currently four o'clock 
it's gonna get dark outside. We ended up ordering Denny's this morning for breakfast. So that's what I ate. So yeah, I'm gonna come back to y'all. As y'all can see, the skin is skinning, okay? Y'all, I'm getting like little moles and beauty marks that's popping up out of nowhere that I did not see before. Me and Jakaya was talking about going to a Bucks game. And I just ordered me a Shein outfit. It's definitely giving grown and sexy. So it's giving, I might as well wear that outfit to the Bucks game. Not only that, me and him got a date night plan. So I gotta come up with another outfit idea because I can't wear the outfit two times. One of my subscribers was in the comments saying, get you some disposable, um, like face towels. And I did end up ordering some scrubs, y'all. So it's like, whatever y'all be speaking, I be like a couple steps ahead. I be right on it, right on it. Last time I made spaghetti, I made the rosati, something like that noodle. So I think I'm gonna make the macaroni elbow noodles this time. Or I even might make the regular noodles. I uh, also end up getting some lasagna. I don't know why I got these. Well, I know why, cause I'm gonna cook them, but I don't know how to i never had homemade lasagna like my grandma used to make it but they used to put cottage cheese and stuff like that in it so i wasn't really a fan of it but mama never made it at home like for us other than it already been pre-made so i think i'm gonna try it look for a tiktok recipe and just do my shit simple as that i do got some brand new spaghetti noodles so i think i'm gonna make these instead and throw my other ones out because these well, they're not bad until August 2026, but it's only really like a little bit in here, as y'all can see, so it wouldn't even make sense. If I sound a little congested, that's because the girl is getting sick. We ended up sleeping with the window open and the fan on last night. Only that, the fucking heat went out. Well, not the heat, but my like heat, the monitor, the little heat thing, this that's on my wall. The batteries ended up going dead last night, and I never knew that. So I'm thinking, whole time the heat on, he was never on. I haven't charged up my living room lights, those little two lights, in so fucking long. Damn near since the girls' night. So I definitely, definitely need to charge those up. And not only that, y'all will be ordering me a fireplace real soon for my living room. Somebody was also telling me get some blinds. I think I'm gonna get some, not some blinds, some curtains. I already got blinds. So I was telling me to get some curtains to give it more of a mood, more of a look. So I'm definitely gonna do that. I used to save holes with a mask and a cave. Now I'm like, nah, love, I'm good, go away. Ain't about to die with no money, I don't gave it. I was on top when that shit meant a lot. Still on top, like I'm scared of the drop. Still on top, when these niggas wanna swap. We just wanna swap, make a sauce in the box. I don't wanna change, cause I'm good where I'm at. Mom ties, so I'm always good where I'm at. We're the junior, Jazzy, Baby J. Tell him when I die, put my money in a Couple freaking killer skulls to collect. She fuck a nigga, then she on to the next. Really living large, she ain't all with a Mac. When you niggas think it's small in the mall with a rat. Roll with us if you really want to get it. Go get a half a million in the Sprinter. Phone ringing, bitches know a big triple. I got the hook up in the really no limit. Dead brokers in you nigga DNA. Ricky Smiles indicated with the hate. Little nigga, just another state case. Very nine motherfucker, chase bank, time to bounce. Got to count on my allowance. You niggas push it, so I gotta rebuy it. The nigga tripping like I got a zillion dollars. Got the truck jumping like a tank. When I'm free, I'm out. Then I'm out. Then I never talk about it. I'm a squad, but we all smoke the lobbies. Rich niggas in the middle of being modest. Cause the way I do my deals, never treat it like I bought this nigga house. You could DM my account. My DM six figures in them count. Nine figures was the gold till I hit the E niggas ain't living so bury my women off oh, the When I die, put my money in a grave. I really gotta put a couple niggas in a place. Really just slap every nigga in a race. I really might tap till this nigga on my face. Let it slap with the bass. I used to save hoes with a mask and a cave. Now I'm like, nah, love I'm good, go away. Ain't about to die with no money, I done gave it. Working on the weekend like usual. Way off in the deep end like usual. Niggas swear they passed us, they doing too much. Haven't done my taxes, I'm too turned up. Virgil got a paddock on my wrist going nuts. Niggas caught me slipping once, okay, so what? 
Someone hits a block up, I tell you if it was us. Man, a house in Rosewood, this shit too flush. Say my day's the number, but I keep waking up. No, you see my text, baby, please say something. Why am I the glass, man, a cheapskate hunk? Niggas gotta move on my release day hard. Bitch, this is fame, not clout. I don't even know what that's about, watch your mouth. Baby, got an ego twice the size of the crib. I can never tell the shit, it is what it is. Said what I had to and did what I did. Never turn my back on every G, God forbid. Heard you got the padded on my wrist, doing front flips. Giving you my number, but don't hit me on no dumb shit. Working on a weekend like usual. Way off in the deep end like usual. Niggas swear they passed us, they doing too much. Haven't done my taxes, I'm too turned up. Virgil got a paddock on my wrist going nuts. Niggas caught me slipping, was okay, so what? Someone hit the block of my tape, it was us. Man, a house in Rose, but this shit too flush. Okay, y'all, I just got done cooking. I did make me some spaghetti with macaroni noodles and then like a piece of toast, piece of bread. I'm about to do a taste test and see what it's giving. I did put cheese on one half. This shit is hot. It's like 10, 11 o'clock at night. Your girl really prolonged cooking this. Cause I really was gonna order me some DoorDash, but I'm really trying to stick to not ordering out. Bro, every time, like never fails. 10 out of 10. I'm gonna try the next bite with the side that got cheese on it. I usually use Kobe Jack cheese for my um, spaghetti, but this time I use sharp cheddar. sitting here watching this show called invasion on tubi definitely good definitely gonna check it out i'm finna relax let my food digest hit my bong a couple times drink some water really chill i do not have any weed i'm gonna buy some tomorrow most likely but i did just get done eating all my food i'm thinking about making me a second plate or eating again before i go in the room it's giving eat again before i go get to bed also, y'all, y'all know it is Sunday, so it is Zoo Sunday. The reunion did just drop. I'm finna go watch the end of part one over and then part two so I can see exactly what's going on where I left off at. Yeah. So, y'all, it is the next morning. It's like 11, 12 o'clock in the afternoon. I'm just getting up. I'm finna wash these two wigs and sell them. Some girl texted me, asked me if I had some wigs for sale. And I'm telling her like, yeah, I show her the wigs I got, I show her the prices. I'm selling my frontals for 170 and then I'm selling my closure wigs for 160 Mind y'all, these are good human hair wigs. Not only that, the laces are HD, not regular lace, they're HD laces. You're really getting a good ass deal. Not only that, I don't wear my wigs more than one time or for a long period of time. So she ended up texting me like, I only got $100 and it's just like, sis, it's tax time. Everybody got work checks. Written I do until two weeks from now. I am finna use this in my hair, but my whole thing of saying that is don't never lower y'all price, okay? Well, if somebody won't pay, the next person will pay. Not only that, females out here paying three, four hundred dollars for wigs that's like 20 inches, 22 inches, 24 inches. Exactly. So don't ever lower your price for nobody else. But at the same time, don't be rude about it. Just tell them like, oh, my prices are firm. I could send you some links to some hundred dollar wigs, you know, something like that. Other than that, I really can't help you. Also, y'all, I did just schedule my hair appointment for a Wednesday at one o'clock. I'm gonna go drop the wig off tomorrow. Drop it off tomorrow, get it done Wednesday. Damn near close out this vlog Wednesday, start a whole new one. Or I might just wait till Thursday or Friday and do a weekend vlog. But I'm gonna wash my wigs with y'all. 
And then wherever else today you take me, honestly, truthfully. So y'all, once I got done washing and blow drying the wigs, I did end up stacking my dishes up and cleaning off my stove because my stove definitely needed to be cleaned. I was supposed to clean my bathroom yesterday for Sunday, clean day, you know, Sunday in the house day, but I did not do that, so I might do it today as well. And then also y'all, last night y'all seen me on the computer, I was trying to do my review because somehow, some reason, the reviews don't work from Safari, you gotta go through Google. I did end up using my laptop and they was telling me like I didn't have a case number, but just like how y'all emailing me if I don't have a case number, how y'all telling me my login but I don't have a case number. But anyways, that's that. So I gotta call them. It's currently like 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock. I'm finna call them now. I also downloaded this stuff because I told y'all I want to start working on my credit. So I did self did all the background, got approved, the, you know, application approval or account approval, whatever. Everything go through. So then I go to the main page to look at my credit score to see like where it's at. And it do not show me my credit score. So it says call self. So now I gotta call them as well. So that's what I'm finna do now. I did just get done smoking a blunt. High as hell. But I want to give y'all a little update. I'm going to start to come back to y'all once I'm probably cleaning the bathroom or probably tomorrow. Oh, y'all. Uh, it is the next day. I did just Instacart some groceries. I ended up doing my review, getting my quiz last night. I did get a few things for all these, and I'm going to go to pick and save in probably like an hour. So y'all, my lift for the wig, I like to take the wig to the stylist and then come back. The lift was like damn near $40. And I never knew that you could use Lyft or Uber package and basically send a package and they drop it off. So that's what I did instead of wasting money doing all that. I'm currently making nachos. I did end up door dashing me some groceries. I'm most likely going to pick and save tomorrow and grab more stuff because as y'all know, all these don't be having everything that I need, but it be having like, you know, the main stuff. So I'm going to pick and save and get like snacks, chips, cereal, shit like that. They did end up giving me double quests. As I mentioned to y'all, I did not do my review, so they ended up giving me 410. And I really only be getting like two something. 
And I used to give me some new light bulbs. Like y'all, that's so good. I'm so over it. Tired of saying it. Gotta add it to my list. Gotta get it done. If it's not one thing, it's a fucking other. I do go to court in the morning as well. I did end up looking up like, you know, my court stuff online. And it says case not found. I looked up the citation number, first name, last name, everything. Case not found. So it's at 8 30 in the morning. I really don't want to get up at that time. So I'm gonna get up at eight o'clock and try to call them and reschedule it or at least get some type of update because I haven't got no mail in the mail for it. Literally nothing, no type of update. Not only that, y'all on the ticket it says pay or appear. So even if I want to pay or attempt to pay, it won't let me because it says the case not found. My hair appointment is at eleven o'clock tomorrow. So if I do go to court, I still got no time to get to her for my hair appointment. Or if I do end up rescheduling, I still got no time to get to her. So I'm most likely enough to walk tomorrow and just find a whole new one for the weekend. dress makeup done i did my lashes as well about to go to my hair appointment and get my hair done i did run me up a blunt to smoke before i literally got like 15 minutes left so i'm gonna smoke this and then head out call my list i did have court today y'all but as i was telling y'all yesterday the citation number and like my ticket was never popping up so i called the people off the ticket and they told me that uh, my ticket basically doesn't exist which is insane because when I end up getting into the little interaction or whatever with the police, that was in December, December 18th to be exact. That's two months ago. Like, come on now, y'all. Today is February 21st. That's damn near two months ago. So it's like y'all never pushed my ticket out to y'all supervisor or boss, whatever it is from the Milwaukee County Police Department. So basically the ticket don't exist. So it was a $700 ticket. That they never put in not only that i caught them at like 8 10. well i was on the phone with them for a minute but the man basically explained to me like you know what i could do it he was like honestly i would say just wait that's that it's currently 10 o'clock i'm gonna get my hair done i feel like i got on too much lip gloss y'all it's gonna be like 56 degrees outside that's good weather for february in milwaukee not gonna lie but i'm still going to wear me a coat because i do not want to get sick or like you know thinking oh it's hot outside or it's warm it's time to just wear whatever i want to wear oh i do got somebody coming to get one of the wigs that i got at three o'clock so hopefully my hair be done by then. I feel like my hair should be done by one o'clock, one thirty, no later.
came back and took me some pictures. He is about to go to work. I did get some good ones. I'm about to go through them, see which ones I like. And then they were cook me something to eat. We're gonna get something to eat. I don't know y'all, but it feels so good outside. Like I love keep be hanging that I'm in an apartment building sometimes because I'll be wanting to sit on the front porch and just chill, but it's like this is an apartment and it I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'll do it one day. But I am finna to roll me up a blunt. He did just bring me some weed. I'm finna roll me up a blunt. Smoke. It's hot as fuck in my house. Like it's hotter than it is inside. Let me make sure the heat is off. Cause your girl looking a little too good to be sitting in the house. Okay. So I'm gonna figure it out. Do something. Also, I do got somebody coming to get a wig. It's currently like 240, 250. So I'm really just waiting for her. So in the meantime, I'm just gonna run looking smoke, probably watch a TV show or something. It no longer get dark at four o'clock here, y'all. It get dark at like six, seven, sometimes even eight. So that is a plus. I'm really gonna just chill out, vibe out. Yeah. Also, y'all, yeah, my hair, I definitely love it. I definitely love it. Definitely love it. Okay. Do not play with that girl. Do not play with her. So y'all, your girl just went grocery shopping at Pig and Save. I should have took y'all with me or recorded while I was in the store. But I was really trying to get in and out. I did get a lot of shit. Honestly, truthfully. It looked like it's a little bit, but it kinda is a lot. So y'all, it is the next morning. It's currently like 12 o'clock in the afternoon, about to be one o'clock. We are up. I did cook us some breakfast. I did roll up a blunt finna spark it. And then Damon sent me some pictures. Give y'all a little quick outfit check. This outfit is from AliExpress. And then I got on these boots. Ooh. I got on these boots as well from AliExpress. And then I'm matching it off with the Louis Vuitton bag. Something real cute and simple. I'm thinking about taking me some pictures. I might as well take pictures because it's like, why not? But I've been telling myself that I want to get more photogenic and just post pictures, no matter if it get like a certain amount of likes, no matter if I'm second guessing it, like be more active, take more pictures. But I've been watching this thing on TikTok called the Korean Fruit Bowl. I know I am behind, I'm late as hell, but I did get all the stuff for it. So we damn near gonna cook it when we come back, not cook it, but make it when we come back. Or we might just wait until the next vlog. Huh. So what we doing? Where we at? We at my hot. We are about to eat. Eat some gum. Look. I am closing out this vlog here. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to go follow me on Instagram and on TikTok. We are 54K. Y'all have been to to 100K. Y'all know the vibes. And until next time, I will see y'all in my next video. I do that three, four times again, I 